In this video I'm introducing some important concepts when we're talking about backpacking foods and giving you some of my personal favourite backpacking breakfast ideas. So really quickly before I dive into all the breakfasts that I like to eat out on the trail I just want to cover a few key concepts that determine what food I put into my food bag. The first factor I consider when choosing backpacking foods is that the food has to be really lightweight. Food is almost always the heaviest thing inside a backpack um, and so trying to choose foods that are as light a weight as possible um, is obviously going to reduce the amount of weight that you're carrying on your back. Um, this usually involves choosing foods that don't have a lot of water weight um, and that need rehydrating uh, whether by cooking or cold soaking. The next factor I consider is that the foods must be quite high in calories. Uh, through hikers are burning at least 5,000 calories a day on a through hike so I make sure that all the foods that I choose are relatively high in calories. The third factor that I consider really important is that food is easy to prepare and easy to eat. Most of the time on a through hike you want to maximise the amount of time that you're actually on trail and hiking to maximise the amount of miles that you do in a single day. I don't like to take a lot of time preparing food and eating food when I could be hiking or sleeping. I also consider an important factor when choosing food is that the food is kind of nutritious. I first through hiked the Appalachian Trail in 2015 and if you were to look inside my food bag then you'd have been quite shocked. Super high in sugar, really quite disgusting and not very nutritious at all. As time's gone on, nutrition has become more important to me. I try and avoid junk food as much as possible and eat nutritious, healthy foods. The final factor I consider to be important is that I have to want to eat the food. Um, towards the end of a through hike, you're going to be sick of your food no matter what you carry out on the trail. So as far as I'm concerned, putting energy and putting calories into my body is the most important factor. So I have to want to eat the food inside my bag. Now I've covered all the important aspects of choosing backpacking food, I'm going to spread all of my breakfasts out on the table here, talk you through each item and why I like to eat it out on the trail. So first things first in the morning, I wake up, have a little stretch, and then I make coffee. That's the first and the most important thing I do when I'm making breakfast. Out on the trail, what I normally carry is Starbucks beers. They're kind of expensive, but probably the best trail coffee in my opinion. Right now, just as an example here, I have some Nescafe. I don't recommend Nescafe coffee. It's not very good, it doesn't taste very good. This is just a placeholder in the place of Starbucks beers, which are actually really hard to find here in Finland. But what I'll do is I'll usually grab two sachets of Starbucks beers. I'll throw it inside my water bottle with some filtered water, shake it up. I'll drink a little bit of coffee with my breakfast. And then when I'm on trail, I'll sort of sip on it throughout the morning to get myself caffeinated and motivated to go hike. 99% of the time, I'm just drinking cold coffee on the trail. It's way more convenient and a lot less mess. But the good thing about having instant coffee with you, if I'm having a slow morning or it's really cold outside the tent, I can always fire up the stove, dump in some instant coffee and have a nice hot coffee from the sleeping bag. So 90% of the mornings on trail, what I'm usually eating is granola mixed with trail mix and powdered milk. Um, it's something that I find really satisfying. It takes a little bit of extra effort. So in town, I'll buy like a big thing of granola and a big thing of trail mix, and I'll divide it up um, into say four or five Ziploc bags, depending on how long the section is between towns. And then I'll mix in some powdered milk. And then first thing in the morning, I'll dump in some filtered water inside the Ziploc bag, give it a stir up, and I'll actually put the Ziploc bag inside my cook pot, eat that in the sleeping bag before packing up and leaving camp. Don't focus too much on the brand, just find one that you like. This one is a Finnish brand and it's kind of dried apple granola. It's pretty tasty. And then with the trail mix itself, I usually just grab a bunch of different nuts, mix them all together, maybe mix in some dried fruit, like some raisins or uh, cranberries. Then powdered milk is available in most grocery stores in the US and here in Europe. If you can't find powdered milk in the US, you can also substitute Incarnation Instant Breakfast. They're also pretty good, especially the vanilla flavor. They also also hold quite a lot of nutrition and some extra protein if that's something that you're looking for. So if I get really bored of the granola and trail mix breakfast, um, oftentimes I'll turn to Pop Tarts. Um, classic trail breakfast in the US. Honestly, I don't love Pop Tarts um, and they're really not very good for you. They're basically just pure sugar. 
Um, they're really cheap and fairly lightweight and contain a lot of calories, um, but most of it is just empty sugar calories, so I find that I eat them, and then maybe an hour or so later I'm kind of hungry again because all that sugar's already worn off. It's definitely important to mention Pop-Tarts because they're a really common trail breakfast for a lot of people. I do try and avoid them, but every once in a while, if I'm really bored of my normal breakfast, I'll grab a packet of Pop-Tarts. And then some mornings, if I'm kind of in a rush, if all the guys I'm hiking with are already awake and packing up their tent, and if I kind of want to catch up and leave with them, sometimes I'll just eat a couple of granola bars for breakfast. Um, I kind of split granola bars into two categories, kind of lightweight granola bars and heavyweight granola bars. Lightweight tends to be something like an Alpen bar or a Nutri-Grain or Nature Valley bars that I consider kind of lightweight. They're not super heavy, they're not super dense. Um, they generally come in a multi-pack and they're relatively cheap. Um, and then a heavyweight granola bar for me is something like a protein bar or a cliff bar, even a Lara bar, something like that. That's a little bit denser, a little bit heavier, a little bit more nutritious. So then sometimes just two granola bars is enough to get me going in the morning. One heavier, one lighter. So that's what my breakfast looked like out on the trail. If I've missed out one of your favourite breakfast foods, then leave me a comment below and let me know what you eat. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next video in the series. And thank you very much for watching.